Oh! Hey guys! Hey! What's up? Um, we are here to do um, uh, a little short video that, uh, that we both came up with. Do you guys remember that video that we did um, where Sonia and me um, expressed our 10 favorite, 10 shared favorite things we love about um, Star Wars. Star Wars. And we are here this time around to share our love of Ninja Turtles because Sonia loves Ninja Turtles. I love Ninja Turtles. We both love Ninja Turtles. I grew up with Ninja Turtles and to some extent so did Sonia. So we are here today to, or tonight, as you can see, uh, but we're here to express uh, said interests and likes, the things we like about it. Um, anything you want to say before we get into the video? No. Anyway, let's go. Uh, my first like is Raphael because I, I love Raphael because, but specifically this Raphael. Many other Raphaels that I have uh, that, that have been in other TMNT TV shows, um, I haven't really related to. And then there was another Raphael uh, from the movie, the 2007 animated movie. I didn't really like that one that much because uh, if you've seen my walkthrough for the walkthrough up here in the corner um, for my for the th there was a video game uh, version of that movie um, the company who made that movie also made a video game in that walkthrough I mentioned once that I didn't like that version of Raphael because he just seemed like a whiny brat am I the only one who thinks this sucks yes and he was um, so I didn't like that Raphael, but the reason why I like this Raphael is because this Raphael has anger issues like I do to s a certain extent. Um, but he also has a lot of humanity. I mean, he's a turtle, but he has a lot of humanity in him, right? He, he, he has feelings and stuff, and you do get to see those feelings a lot in this show, but you also get to see the Raphael that we all know and love, which is the cranky one. But also, one thing, one, just this little thing that... You guys wouldn't think would um, make me like him. I know I'm droning on. It's the cockroaches thing. If you've seen, if you've ever seen this show, then it's uh, he doesn't like cockroaches. He hates them. He is terrified of them, like I am. <coughs> I am terrified of them as well. And every time I watch the show, and there's a cockroach involved, I I have to cover my eyes. I cannot, especially when it gets like. To that humanoid cockroach, I can't handle that shit. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't like it either. My first one is Mikey because he's crazy, he's nuts, and he's really, really funny. And as Josh said about Raphael, um, he relates to him because of his anger. I relate to Mikey because of his craziness. And I'm crazy at home. <laughs> Woohoo! But yeah. And Mikey is also... How should I say this? Clumsy and sometimes. And so am I. So we just relate oh in gosh. those kind of like areas. Like, I'm Mikey. I totally <laughs> see it now. I honestly really see it now. We're Ninja Turtles. Jokes. <laughs> no, no, how much you and Mikey relate. I just didn't see it before. My second one is Karai. Oh boy! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Not only is she a badass, which she is, all right. The Karai in the teeth. Now, the one I, the, as I've said many times, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle show that I grew up with was the 2003 one. The Karai in that one, I just didn't like. I didn't feel anything for her or about her, right? This one, I think she's a badass. Uh, but the the main reason why I like her, don't judge me. But the main reason why I like her is she is damn fine attractive. Is there anything else that you like her about her? Um, she's sexy. I've said that. Um, a badass. She has a she is a badass, and um, I will say this: uh, a lot of female badasses in movies and TV shows. I will just name some off now. Um, uh, Ray Furiosa from Mad Max. Um, Black, Black Widow. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to go Wonder Woman. All of them. Um, uh, she is up there with them. I absolutely love her. She's amazing. Okay, my next one is April. If you've seen the TV show, um, you have seen the bit where she's having trouble being friends, like, being friends with teena- the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, like, I sort of relate to that because I'm having trouble at school. My uh, third one is when Shredder defeats Splinter. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That scene is so emotional. I don't cry anymore, but I, when I watched it, I watched it once or twice. Bye. Okay, so I've seen it more than twice because I really love the scene. But it's the season two finale, and it's so uh, well written. Um, the first time I watched it, I did tear up. <laughs> and usually I don't tear up in, like, animated kids TV shows. Why? Because they're just not that... Um, I don't know. It's just... It's, I would... I, myself, I would personally expect myself to cry in a feature film. Or a really dramatic uh, 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 TV show like Daredevil, um, which I've cried many times. Um, but this I actually did cry, and I think it's the only scene or moment in this show that I have cried in because, not just because. Now I'll tell you why. It's not just I didn't cry when Shredder defeat when Shredder defeated Splinter. I didn't cry then. Well, it's when. Uh, uh, Raph fell, uh, ran into Mikey's arms, or Mikey ran in front of Raph to hug him, or whatever. Whatever the hell happened. As soon as that happened, I was just, I just couldn't stop crying because it's using their, 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 their brotherhood the correct way, right? What I see this mistake made so many times. What so many. Ninja Turtle uh, stories do is they use their brotherhood to create um, arguments. It's not. It shouldn't just be for that. It should be for uh, the love and the emotion that the brothers, sometimes that brothers would have. And I love that. That's what happens here. And it's just it, it's it's damn fine storytelling. Okay, my third one is. The show's theme song. I like the theme song because it suits the TV show and also the Ninja Turtles, how they act and stuff. Okie dokie. My fourth one, uh, the, the Turtles, their brotherly chemistry. Now, what I have the fun with the most is seeing their, their really comedic moments um, when they're just, I don't know, in the van in the turtle shell van or whatever it is that it's called. I grew up in Ninja Turtles, so I don't really know the name of it. Um, but, like, I love their road trips and their adventures, like, that they go on. Um, because I just love seeing them interact with each other. I just, I don't know what it is, but they, these guys click. They're just so good together. And it's just a bunch of animated turtles in a van. Okay, my next one is the episode where Raphael got switched with the Krang, like their mind got switched. That is such a good one. <laughs> um, I like that one because it's really funny and also because I liked it because I saw how, how, um, I don't know how to explain this, but it's funny. Yeah, it's funny and that's basically it. <laughs> it's funny. It's I like that episode, but I didn't put it in my list because she already took it. My last one is um, when Donnie loses his mind or a uh, better word to describe it would be his genius. When he loses his genius. I can't remember what episode that was or what season it took place in. I'm pretty sure it was season three. But when he loses his smartness... It's freaking so funny. And that's literally the only reason I like it. Just because it's funny. This show, I will say, is great at being funny. It's a kids TV show about a bunch of turtles living in a sewer. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. We'll my, wrap it up with Sonya's one. My last one um, is when <laughs> Donatello falls in love with April. Do you relate to this because you have a crush? Sort of. <laughs> really? On who? I'll tell you after. I can't tell you now. Oh, because they'll, they'll all know. Yes. Okay. I can't. What I was saying was, um, Donatello falls in love with April. And yes, I do have a crush right now. And yes, I do relate to it. But that's not the only reason. The other reason is it was funny and it's sort of weird because a ninja turtle and a person, so it's just weird. I wonder what their babies would look like. <laughs> I wonder that too. I actually wondered that's, that that's too. Really, that's really interesting. What would their babies look like? Would their babies come out as human but with green skin or as turtles with Caucasian skin? All right, boys and girls, that is it for this video please go down like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please do that because i'm pretty sure my subscriber count is frozen so if you all subscribe then it will become then it'll unfreeze right may even get to 100 and that's my goal anyway <laughs> see you guys bye that was awesome